어. 오늘 I want to talk about an interesting feature on my MacBook Pro that I use every single day. It's called sidecar. Now, in the English language, the term sidecar refers to that low, small vehicle that is attached to a motorcycle. And in some sense, that's exactly what the iPad Pro is. It is that small, low vehicle attached to this big car. This is sidecar. Sidecar enables you to use your iPad or your iPad Pro as a secondary screen. It's absolutely amazing. Just think about how much your productivity is going to increase by using a secondary screen. Now, most people extend their screen onto the iPad. I don't know why anybody would want to mirror, but you can also mirror your screen on the iPad Pro as well. So in this video, I want to talk about Sidecar. I want to talk about how to use it, the different features for Sidecar. And Keep in mind that Sidecar has minimum requirements. So if you have a MacBook Pro 2016 or a MacBook 2016 and above, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for all the information that you need to know about Sidecar straight from Apple's website. But there are minimum requirements to use this feature. So if you have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro that is older than a 2016 model, unfortunately, that's not going to work. But even if you don't have a Mac, if you are a Windows user, stay tuned for my next video, or even if you don't have a 2016 Mac, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be talking about how to connect your iPad Pro and use the side, well, it's not exactly the sidecar feature, but it's almost just like the sidecar feature on a Windows laptop. Or if you have an older Mac, you can still use sidecar. So stay tuned for the next video. But for now, Let's find out more about the interesting features with Sidecar and let's use this beautiful iPad Pro as a secondary display. All right guys, so if you're using macOS Big Sur, you just click the display menu in the control center or the menu bar and then you choose your iPad. So here I go to display and then you choose the, the iPad. You connect to your iPad right here. So now I've got a secondary screen here and it works like magic. I use this every single day because it, it boosts my productivity and the concept of having a secondary screen is just incredible. You guys have to try it. If you have an iPad Pro or an iPad and you've got a Mac or even a Windows machine, I'm going to talk about the, that in the upcoming video, you have got to use your iPad as a secondary screen. I highly recommend it. So I've got like multiple apps open here. Suppose I open Word and suppose I open, for example, Premiere and Photoshop. Let's say I want to move this over there. So just drag it to the other screen. And right, I'm opening some other apps here. So that is, for example, Photoshop. Or let's say, okay, that's Adobe Premiere. So you can open multiple apps. For example, if you're working here, you can have something else going on here. Maybe you want to read something. I mostly use this for my research purposes. So if I want to write something, I can open Safari here and, and read something here. You can also copy paste things like, so it's pretty fast. And if you want to move this, like I said, from one screen to the other, you can either drag it like this, or you can keep pressing here on the maximize button and tap move window to Mac. So that's going to move it. Or let's try this one over here, move to iPad, for example. So that moves it to the iPad. Now, if I want to disconnect Sidecar, I can either click on this right here or go to this and click on iPad over here and that's going to disconnect side, Sidecar. So if I click on that, that's it. Now it's disconnected. By the way, there's another way to connect to Sidecar. So if you don't have this menu, maybe you have Catalina or something, if you don't have this menu over here, uh, there's another way to connect to Sidecar, which is just type Sidecar, type Sidecar on your keyboard, and then click on this. Select your device, which is the iPad, and it's going to connect to your iPad. I think it's just a brilliant feature. Now, you can either extend or you can mirror your Mac with Sidecar. So if you want to start the Sidecar 
session, that's how you do it. If you want to start screen mirroring, now remember, by default, your iPad shows an extension of your Mac desktop. This is an extension. So you can move Windows to it and use it like any other display. But if you want to mirror your Mac, all what you got to do is return to the display menu over here. Okay, and then click or tap mirror built-in retina display. And when you do that, you're going to have both screens showing the same thing. You're going to mirror both screens. Now, I don't know why you might want to do that. Maybe it's useful for some people. But usually, by default, your iPad shows an extension of your Mac desktop. So let's turn that off. I don't like screen mirroring. I want to use it as, a, as an extension. Now, the problem with Sidecar is that sometimes there's lag. Usually there isn't, but sometimes there's lag. And sometimes there are connection problems. So make sure that your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi are turned on. Your Wi-Fi, they're both connected to the same network. And make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on as well. Now, you can also use Sidecar with the cable instead of the Wi-Fi. But there's no need. The Wi-Fi or the wireless option is pretty fast. Now, let me turn off the mirroring option and go back to the extension. Okay, so going back to Apple's website, now you know how to start a session, you know how to screen mirror, and you know how to end the sidecar session. You can also end it here, or you can end it here, or you can end it here as well. So you've got multiple ways to end the session. Next, use the sidebar. So the sidebar puts commonly used controls on the side of your iPad screen. It includes command, shift, and other modifier keys. So you can choose essential commands with your finger or Apple Pencil instead of a keyboard. Now, let's try to use the sidebar preferences. Let's go back to sidecar here, type in sidecar. And if I click on that, that is going to show me the sidebar preferences right here. Now, if you want to explore that in detail, this, the first thing over here, you tap it to show or hide the menu bar when viewing a window in full screen on the iPad. This is for showing or hiding your computer's dock on the iPad. So there's the dock. If you want to show that, it's pretty nifty. Command, so you can touch and hold that to set the command key. Uh, you can double tap to lock the key, so that locks the key. This is the option key. You can touch and hold it to set the option key or double tap to lock the option key. This is control, so you touch and hold to set the control key and double tap to lock the key. Shift, same thing. Touch and hold to set the shift key and you double tap to lock the key. This is undo, so you undo the last action. Some apps, of course, support multiple undos. This is for the keyboard, like I said. You show or hide the on-screen keyboard and you can type here and it supports swipe as well. So let's say I want to type something here. Hello. Oh, it didn't recognize that. But swipe exists as well. There you go. It recognized it. Hello. So you can use the keyboard and you can use the swipe feature on the keyboard if you want to type something. And finally, the last button over here is the disconnect your iPad button. So that ends your sidecar feature. You can also use gestures for controlling and other actions. Here's a trick that you need to learn. If I want to take this from here to there, like I said, you can drag it, but sometimes that doesn't work. So for example, now the dragging feature doesn't work properly. So what I do is I do this gesture and then I drag it all the way here to a new desktop. So that's also a useful feature. Remember these gestures for the Mac, for desktops? You can rearrange if you want. You can create a new desktop here on the iPad. And I can take this there if I want to. So here's an example of how I use this feature every day. So for example, I'm working on a report. This is a report that I am working on blah 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 and I am reading my research or whatever that I'm interested in on the other screen so all I do is for example I can copy paste things here quickly um, I can scroll and find what I want or I can switch between apps easily I can drag things around I love having a secondary screen 
And Sidecar is just that. It's a beautiful, beautiful app. And uh, you can also use your iPad apps during the Sidecar session. All what you gotta do is use the navigational gesture like that. So that is Sidecar. I've just minimized it. For example, let's say I want to open Apple Music, for example. So the Sidecar app is there. You can still use your iPad. You can still use the iPad apps if you want. You can switch to an iPad app. Just use that gesture and that would suspend your Sidecar session just like this. It would suspend your session until you switch back to the Sidecar app or you disconnect Sidecar. So that was for showing Sidecar and you can also control the location of it if you want it to be on the left or if you want it to be on the right. Uh, the touch bar, where would the touch bar want it, where would you want the touch bar to be? As for the last feature here, which is enable double tap on the, on the Apple Pencil, now this allows the apps that support this feature to perform custom actions when you double tap on the side of your Apple Pencil. So, by the way, you can also use your, your Apple Pencil. So if I do this, that is amazing. I can still use the Apple Pencils if I want to pick this up. For example, I want to select something. Or if I use um, the two finger gestures here, I can scroll. How amazing is that? So sometimes while I am working here, I get up, I walk around, and I'm working on this screen and reading whatever's here while I'm working here as well. So sometimes I may want to just get up and walk. I may want to drag whatever's here onto here. I just get up, walk, read my things here, and then come back here, put the screen back. It's just amazing. Sidecar is the ultimate productivity app. I truly love this feature. And if you have an iPad Pro or an iPad, it's an absolute must. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Enjoy using Sidecar.